By the way, now would be the time for me to bring this up because I, I don't have this in my notes, but I do have it available to me on my, my timeline. There is a woman who I, I think vaguely is associated with Carolyn Farrow um, named Sonia Holton. And Sonia is being harassed by Samuel Collingwood Smith. Um, oh, wrong one. Uh, this long story, I retweeted this. You can find this. I also put it on the Telegram thing. She's basically being extorted by Sam and uh, someone named Mr. Uh, Hemming, who is like a 90-year-old knighted person, former MP in the United Kingdom. And this is what Sam is like sending her. You ready? The least of Sonia Poulton's worries. The least of Sonia Poulton's worries. Poulton has been making extreme statements about people for years. Whilst we are committed, of course, to only using legal means to deal with her, it may be that others will be less law-abiding. Of course, I condemn any illegal acts, but it's not up to me. Be the least of Sonia Poulton's worries. This guy has been doing shit like this for like 20 fucking years now. Samuel Collingwood Smith lives in a council flat in uh, Hertfordshire, England. He has been threatening people, harassing people. I believe he's been swatting people for two decades. Um, his earliest known activity is that he was, as a 32-year-old man, he was active on an Evanescence fan forum. And he was playing games with the little girls on that forum to try and become admin. And when he got out politically maneuvered by teenage girls, he went to the press and alleged that the teenagers on that forum were sharing nude pictures of each other through the private message system of the uh, of the forum, and thus it was facilitating the transfer of child pornography, which caused massive embarrassment for the band Evanescence that he was a fan of and got the forum shut down. He has been doing this for a very long time. He has been a public nuisance for fucking ages, uh, and he has a master's degree in law but will never become a solicitor because in order to actually practice law as a solicitor in the United Kingdom, you have to be uh, apprenticed. You have to get a master's and then you have to be apprenticed into law. And because these firms select their own, basically when you apprentice somebody in the United Kingdom as a, a solicitor, you are choosing them to be your competition. So it's a very, very uh, cutthroat thing to become apprentice into solicitorship in the United Kingdom because these companies effectively as they have a monopoly on the pr practice of law get to decide who their competitors are in, in the, the country and as a result it's extremely competitive. He being a 40 something year old demented fat faggot retard who has been uh, randomly accusing people of being uh, pedophiles for the last 20 fucking years will never ever 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 become a solicitor in the United Kingdom and so he uses his master's degree to figure out how to better extort and blackmail people while skirting, skirting around the, uh, the actual legal definition of what it is to extort and blackmail people. And he just gets away with it continuously. And it is the, like, it's, it's, I consider the fact that Sam is allowed to be an open fucking terrorist uh, and laugh about the shit that he does to innocent people to be like up there with the amount of baby rape that happens in the United Kingdom in terms of actual travesties that routinely take place in the UK. It's like they're so afraid of actually arresting somebody who has done something wrong. They can only fuck with people who have done nothing wrong in the UK. I have no idea. I, I, it's, it like, it, I don't know. It's just, it fills me with actual disgust. I really fucking hate the UK. I don't know what is wrong with them. <laughs> that they just allow this to happen continuously. And it doesn't matter how many people, it doesn't matter if they're foreign, doesn't matter if they're local, it doesn't matter if they've done nothing wrong, doesn't matter if he's blatantly saying, oh, by the way, uh, you have made many people angry, wink, wink, and uh, maybe criminals will come after you and try to hurt you, wink, wink. Like, it doesn't matter how blatant it is. They don't do any fucking thing. It's crazy. Genuinely disgusting. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofer. Remember to like and subscribe.